As of March 2021, Louis Vuitton stopped including date codes in their designer bags and now feature a microchip. But how can you scan them? What information is on them? And is it a good way to authenticate a bag? Find out everything you need to know in this video. Hey everyone, Steph here. So I thought I would make this video in case it's useful to anyone else out there because I recently made a pre-loved Louis Vuitton purchase, this cap you seen back here. And I thought to myself, I want to know if it has a microchip inside of it. Is it a good way to authenticate a bag? I'll be covering what I found out. So I have some pieces that I have ordered directly from Louis Vuitton and I have found an app that works really well well for scanning the microchip in these bags and I'll be showing you what information is on them. So the microchips that come in the bags now, you cannot see them, they are not visible anywhere, like there's not kind of any tag, you cannot feel them, they are stitched into the lining of the bag. They are usually on the back part of the bag, but depending on the style they may be located in different locations. So first I'm going to start by scanning my Louis Vuitton Capucine mini bag. I got this directly from Louis Vuitton so I know it's completely legit. Then I have my pre-loved one which I'll be scanning and we'll be seeing if the same information and what comes up for both of the bags. Now, like I said, this started to be rolled out as of March 2021. Uh, previously to that, Louis Vuitton used date codes. So I have an older Neverfull bag here and I will quickly show you. So the date code is located on this tab. Now, depending on which style of bag you've got, your date code will be located in different locations. And these are bags prior to 2021. If you want to decipher a date code, if you have a bag that is older than 2021, I do have a free date code checker, which I will link up here and down below. So you enter the date code and it will tell you where your bag was made, which week and which month. So to show you how the date code checker works, you just head over to Handbagholic website. The link is down below. Resources, Louis Vuitton on date code checker here this is a completely free tool that you can use so you input your code here and there's lots of information on this page around so if you wanted to dig deeper into what the codes mean so all these letters here are related to the france louis vuitton factory spain italy usa for example and then lots of details around if the code if there isn't a date code in the bag for example where you can find the date code and i've also included some images so on a speedy bag where the serial code is actually located the never full here the pochette matisse also where you can find the code so hopefully for some of the popular styles of bags what the codes might look like and where you would locate them but coming back up to the top of the page here, input your code. So we're going to put in FL2157 and this will decipher the code for you, saving a lot of time. And this means that the bag was made in France or the USA on the 25th week of the month and in 2017, for example. So it literally tells you exactly where the bag was made, the week and the year that it was made as well. So hopefully this will make that process a little bit quicker if you do have a date code and you're wanting to understand what it means. Okay, so the app that I have found, I have tried quite a few now to be able to scan the microchips in these bags and there is one that works really well. What I can see on my screen here, I will put here just so that you can see this a lot more easily. So this is the NFC Tools app. I will link it in the description box for you. This is not sponsored in any way, guys. I just found, um, I did try a few and a lot of them actually didn't work, but this one did. So what we are going to do, take our bag, we are going to press read. We are then going to hover it over the bag here and you can see that this has approached the NFC tag. Now it does have some information here. We have a tag type, we have technologies available and we have a serial number. I have blurred these out guys because I don't know if they are unique to every bag and I don't want counterfeiters taking this information, um, but you can get an idea. This is the information that you can see via this app inside the bag. We know there's definitely a microchip in here, but let's find out if I've got one in my pre-loved Capucine bag. Grab her. So again, um, generally they are located in the back of the bag. So I'm going to press read and just kind of hover it around. Sometimes it can take a little bit of time, um, but I have found it. I think this is located in the bottom part of the bag here. So again, this is a Capucine, but this is a bigger size, the BB. And it's come up with the same information, the tag type, technologies, and serial number. 
So there is a chip in this Louis Vuitton bag and I can tell you the serial numbers of the one that I've just scanned and this one are different. So it may well be that they have unique serial numbers. So a little bit more detail on why Louis Vuitton have done this and is it a good way to authenticate a Louis Vuitton bag? I'm going to start with why have Louis Vuitton done this? So date codes um, overall, as we know, big brands like this often suffer at the hands of people making replicas. Can microchips be replicated? They absolutely can. They can be placed inside of bags. So this this is not a good way to authenticate a bag that you have purchased. It is a way to help authenticate the process. If the bag was made after 2021, it will have a microchip inside of it. You will be able to pick it up on the NFC Tools app. I always recommend using a professional authentication service. I will link to my recommended up here and down below. You will send off pictures and they will check details of the bags and then come back to you, like the craftsmanship, the hardware, the logos, for example, and they will tell you whether they think the bag is real or not. So I will link to this page down below, but for top authentication services, services again under resources authentication services now I try to keep this page as updated as I possibly can and here we go so where can you get a bag authenticated and um, how much does it cost to get a bag authenticated authenticate first here this is a really professional brand if you want to get your pieces authenticated some of these do do fashion items as well some of them specialize in just specific brands so we have authenticate first authenticate for you uh, pro authenticators which is us based zico's authentication which i highly recommend for chanel pieces i believe they only do chanel pieces actually handbag clinic baba um really great for Hermes pieces here and yeah, you just got a breakdown. So like I said, I do try and keep this as up to date as possible, like on which brands they actually authenticate. Um, all of them have different prices. All of them have different methods of authentication. But whenever you purchase something, uh, find the right one that works for you, that you gel with. And yeah, they can become a really reliable source just to kind of give you that backup of information that you've got a professional, someone that sees these bags day in and day out, fashion pieces as well, and can confirm whether they think your item is real or not. I've also got a few like real versus fake bags comparisons on my YouTube channel if you want to watch those, um, but I don't have so many of those ones, but they do give some indication as to what to watch out for, such as packaging. So why have Louis Vuitton done this? Um, the date codes clearly are very easily replicated. And the only information that they were able to tell Louis Vuitton sales associates, for example, is where it was made, when and what year. I think moving to microchips is really, really smart. When Louis Vuitton scan the microchips, they have more information than we can see using the NFC Tools app. Um, I have no doubt they'll be able to know exactly maybe who even worked on the bag, which factory it was made in, what fabrics it was used from. And this is really important for Louis Vuitton to know because if you took your bag in and you wanted it repaired, they're going to be able to know really quickly details of like the leather they may need, like stitching, colors, so that it matches your bag perfectly perfectly and also they're going to be able to spot fakes a little bit easier so a great move from the brand slightly frustrating as a customer because you cannot tell which week and month your bag was made in anymore but I think overall it, I know if I have any issues with this take it to Louis Vuitton to get it repaired they're going to have the information they need to be able to undertake that repair which leads me on you cannot take your bag into Louis Vuitton to be authenticated but what you can do is if you have any wear and tear and you want to go and get it repaired, if Louis Vuitton offer this service, they will not repair a replica bag. They will only repair genuine Louis Vuitton items. So a way around this could be if you did want a fix, taking it in, asking for a repair. And if it comes back that the item is not genuine, they will tell you that they cannot repair it. I hope that you have found this video useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up, but make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I'll link my latest video release here for you and over here, 13 of the cheapest Louis Vuitton bags that you can buy right now. Enjoy.